Hello, guys. So I discovered something um, really useful that might be helpful to some of you is to render uh, multiple videos at once so that way you don't have to wait for a video to be finished in order to keep working on, on DaVinci Resolve. Uh, and this is actually good for people that has like a videos that takes longer to render, let's say for like an hour, two, three hours. If you have like a multiple videos that you had to render at once, you can do it overnight and then just save some time so you don't have to wait for them to render and then try to use your DaVinci Resolve at the same time. So I'm gonna open a project and I'm gonna select in and out points from different projects uh, and even for the same timeline, I'm gonna choose two different clips for the same timeline and then I'm gonna put it on the render queue and I'm gonna export them out to different locations with different resolution and I'll play them back to see the results. Okay, so this is my first clip and I already select my in and out points. Now I'm gonna label this test one and it's gonna be saved actually on the desktop. This is just for testing purposes. So this is gonna be called test one. This one has a, is it MP4, H264, and it has a Ultra HD resolution. So I'm gonna add it to the render queue and then I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna open, actually, my bad. So let's say we have multiple videos rendering from this timeline. So I'm gonna choose a different area now. I'm gonna click here. Just keep it in mind that this one is actually the one with the guitar that I'm recording. And this one's gonna be with the keyboards. So I'm gonna put another in and just only a few a few seconds so that way we can do this faster. Another output point. And this time I'm gonna change it over to 1920 1080 HD. I mean, this is just for testing purposes, so don't, don't worry about it. I mean, I'm sure you could, you're gonna have the right settings. So. Okay, so I'm gonna, in this case, I'm gonna uh, save it on all my documents. And this is gonna be test number two with different resolutions. So, and then, so I'm gonna add it to render queue. So we had two on, on this project. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go to a different project. I wanna go into the Abbey Carbon Amazing Interface. And here I'm gonna select a different, uh, a different points as well. Just for testing purposes, I'm gonna select it here. And then only a few seconds after, right here, output. And then this time I'm gonna choose 4K and I'm gonna save it on the desktop and this is gonna be called test number three and it's there desktop audit to queue I mean yeah this is this message I get it because it's not the same resolution I I, I actually record this video with a different resolution but that but this is just for testing purposes let's just pretend that this video was recording 4k so I'm gonna add it out to the render queue and then I'm gonna get out of here Let's go at Big Bear. And I'm gonna do the same process like the other. So I'm gonna just select my in and out points. And then I'm gonna select the location, which is gonna be the document. So we had two on the desktop, two on the document folders. And this is gonna be test four. And this one's gonna have a resolu uh, 6K resolution, which is 6144 by 3456. So uh, I'm ready with this one. I'm gonna add it to the render queue. Okay, so basically I'm ready to render all projects. All I gotta do now is just to click on the three dots on the top and select show all projects. So now it's gonna tell us that we have all different projects ready to render one, two, three, and four with different resolutions in different locations. I'm just gonna delete these two just in case. I'm just gonna keep the four project needs to be rendered and then press render them all. And I'm gonna let it render. Might take only a few minutes because there, there's more clip. This is basically, you know, like I mentioned before for people that wants to do multiple videos at once and they might take like an hour or so longer. So you want you want to do this overnight. This is a good feature that you can use. And so that way you can use DaVinci Resolve instead of waiting for the computer to render all these clips. So we had two done already. This is number three. And then this is number four. I don't know what happened there, but uh, we're gonna see. All right, they are complete, 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 complete. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the finder. We're gonna click on the desktop and then we have one, video one and video two already here. And then as you can see, this video has ultra HD resolution, which is 3840 by 2160 is number one. Video number three has a 4K resolution. 
I'm gonna play real quick to see if it works. Okay, it works. Number one works. Number three, different color coding settings that it works. So now we're gonna go into the documents, which you have two and four. I'm gonna click on two, and two has an HD resolution, which is the keyboard. I'm gonna open it up. As it is, so that way it's less stuff. Great, so it works. And number four is 6K resolution. And it works. So I don't know what happened on, on the image require, or oh, still require actually, but this works. So you can actually select I mean, add to the render queue whichever uh, clip you have from different projects and then for different timeline or the same timeline, put them here and then when you're ready to go, just call them all and render them all. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel as thank you. Uh, don't forget to put a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any question. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.